So in this video, let's check a simple technique to allow OAC to compute growth rate calculation year to year at any level of data in your data set. So here's my sample order line data set and notice that the grain of the data is at the order line ID. And let's suppose that I would want to see the year to year growth rate for revenue by customer segment and by product category. This data is Excel based and I have not built a semantic model over it, no repository, so I cannot use time series calculations from OAC directly. So instead I'm going to use a simple data model joining technique to, to rapidly achieve the same result. So the first thing I do here is to go to my data in OAC, look for my data set, sample other lines, and I duplicate the data set in OAC. So that does not duplicate the data, simply duplicate the entry in OAC joining to this data. So I'm going to rename this to um, sample order lines Yago for a year ago and I will then join this new data set with my initial one based on a special join. So let me go back to my project. So that was the project and let's go into the prepare tab and here is our original data set sample order lines example. So we need to create a column here that will be used for joining with the new data set. So in the case of my example, I wanted to have year ago information for each month. So I'm going to create a month key, unique key based on the date, in my case, ship date. And that month key is the year times 100 plus the month number. And <clears throat> you will see in the orange column here that the new key will appear is unique for each month. I will add this step and don't forget to apply script. And uh, now we are going to also bring the new data set into this project. So I'm going to go to add data set. The new data set is the Yago one, the copy, the exact same copy of the one we're using now. Okay, here's the Yago one. And I will create a similar key in the Yago data set, except that this key will have an incremented year. So let's look at the formula, create a data set, use the same ship date. And the formula here is the same as the one in the previous data set, except that we're adding one to every year here. So in this data set, every row will join to the same row of the next year in the other data set. So let's add the step, let's apply the uh, script, and let's go and create the join between these two data sets. So let me go to data diagram, and now I can join my two data sets, the Yago one uses the months Yago, so Yago months here, and it joins to the months information in the new one. So sample order lines has a row in 2014 that will join to a row in the Yago one that is one year before, which is 2013. So that will provide the Yago year ago information. And then I need to create the other joints on the dimensions that I wanted. In my case, customer segment and product category. This is important. If I don't do it, then I cannot have the Yago information aggregated at this level. Now, these joints are going to define what report will be able to show the Yago information. So let's rename the sales information in the Yago table. Just call it Yago, just so that it's uh, intuitive when we use it in the V. Let's apply a script and let's now go and visualize this data. So let me create a new canvas here just to start fresh. And now let's bring some months information and sales information. Now I have to stick at the months or quarter or year level because that's how we did the join. So let me put a table. Here's my sales data and let me scroll down, go to the new data set and bring the sales Yago data and see if the join is working. Sales Yago. Ah, it's all the 8.5 million, it's all the sum, it's doing a Cartesian join. Well, the reason why that is, is because we need to influence this join and say we only want matching rows in the Yago data. We don't want all the rows. And by doing this, at the Viz level, now I can see that the Yago information indeed, at the month level, is showing me the same month value for last year. So let me create a calculation with a percent growth, for instance, percent growth year on year. And then I will do sales divided by sales Yago minus one. And that should give me a percent growth. Let me just drag this metric in the table. 
and that calculates the increase or decrease in percentage. So here is my technique for doing a Yago. So the drawback with this technique is that you definitely have to set up the right joints in your data set and you have to set up the right blending at each V's level. So here's a visualization as a line, but see, if I change this and bring a new column into it, like the percent Yago, well, first of all, I have to change the axis level. So that's a Y2 axis, but this value here will be wrong until I explicitly, for each V's, edit the, what we call the blending, the join type, and now I have uh, all rows to matching rows, and that's the right data. So now I have a graphical representation. I can make it a bar or a line or anything like that. So this is very useful for me to calculate, easily to calculate this information, except that, again, I have to make sure that every viz, I do set up the proper join type per viz. If I bring customer segment here as a filter dimension, it will work as well because we join these two tables also on customer segment. I can change this as well to um, a product category. I can bring these two together. This should work just as well. I cannot bring another dimension. Oops. Seems like I uh, overrided the uh, uh, join type here. See, I have to redo it again. So that's the only issue with this technique.